I like to <laughs> dying. <laughs> I also like to have this oh, thing. Oh yeah, that's one. That's the one thing about that camera. It's got a pop out screen, but it doesn't. Blink. See, so that's one thing I'm looking for. Is I'm looking I for. Know. A micro of where I can plug in a shotgun. Mm -hmm. No, I. Those are the two things I wish that had. Right. So for like outdoor scenes and then for like my videos, mm -hmm. I don't want to have to sync audio. But like for yeah. my films, obviously, I'll just have a. I'll sync audio. That's right. A big deal. I. Yeah. But yeah. So like. Yeah. No. I. That's the two things. I was like, I really wish yeah. this screen flip. And I need that for my videos. Yeah. For making my yeah. YouTube videos. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. I get it. Okay. back to my channel. I am Brit. If you haven't subscribed yet, you probably should because I talk about geeky things and today I'm here with my friend Sari. Hashtag I hate Sari. But you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you guys are familiar with that hashtag because I use it a lot. Anytime I talk about Sari. All the time. <laughs> I think it's just my name now. I think so. And it's funny because like so many of my friends will be like, when I wish Sari had a birthday, they'll say happy birthday to her and say hashtag I hate Sari. Yeah. So it's just, <laughs> that's my name now. It's her name now, so it's great. But no, I've known Sorry for a very long time, and that's actually kind of what we're going to talk about today. Yes! <laughs> so I told you guys in my Geek Hub video that if you guys want me to sit down and talk with Sorry, uh, we don't have any wine, but we can still call it a story time. Yeah. You have I mean, wine there is wine downstairs, but you have to drive home. And I do have to drive I, home. I can drink this much, so it's not... <laughs> so wine story time really, really work. If we were filming at my house, we could drink all the wine we wanted. Yes. Well, I could, you could not. You I could still do. could not drink all the wine I wanted. But anyway, so yeah, so we're going to talk about how we met because, like I said in my Geek Hub video, which, have you seen this, the Geek Hub video and then yeah. the yeah. suing my, uh, did I sue my friend video? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, in the Geek Hub video, I mentioned that I was like, hey, maybe I should have Sari come on my channel and tell you guys how <laughs> that girl introduced like inch, like my introduction to sorry uh, to sorry. So before we met, before yeah. you knew who I was, and that's part of the funny part of the story. Because I think I told my version, but I'm gonna tell it again. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's the stupidest story. And then maybe if we got a little bit of time after, we can just tell some other stupid. Yeah. Stories. <laughs> it, so um, I was I was working at GeekCon. I was a head of guest relations, and so she was on my staff. Not Brett, the other one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the other um, one. And, and we were trying to, um, we were basically looking to make a list of guests that we potentially wanted to invite, and so we, we needed to send out inquiries to people, and um, we had some suggestions from attendees, but I was looking for more people, and there were some people I was like, well, I can't get contact info for them, so if I can't get contact info, I can't contact them, obviously. And weird, right? Wait, what? Weird, that actually right? goes into my story a little bit. A little. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just scoop your whole story. It's fine. Um, and so she was like, oh, well, you should talk to my friend Britt and she would she would she should totally be on your staff because um, she all she does is go to conventions and meet voice actors and ask them for their contact information and I was like I definitely do not want a weirdo stalker on my guest relations staff like I just I really don't um <laughs> so this is how this is how she built Brit to me like she goes to all all she does with her life is go around the country to conventions to meet voice actors and ask them for their phone numbers. I also go to Canada oh yeah sorry North two, America. I was saying two of my conventions have been in Canada. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there is truth to that, which is so <laughs> funny because when I, when I tell my mom that story, because I told her before I left, I was like, we're going to tell that story. And she's like, oh, I don't remember that story very well. I was like, oh, this. And um, <laughs> and I go, so there is truth to it. And my mom goes, yeah, the devil always uses truth. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. So mind you, nobody likes this woman. Who, If you meet this girl, you do not like her. It's so, like, it's just, I don't know if anybody has ever remained liking her in her life. No. Anyway. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> I know. Like, probably her family. I don't know. So the truth behind that is, yes, when I choose to go to a convention, I do look at the guest list because the guest list has to be enticing to me. And the truth is, yes, I do like to meet the guests. Why? Because I'm a director and an actor. And what do directors and actors do? 
they hang with other actors and directors. So yeah, I do go to meet the guests. And the thing is, like, if I'm at if I'm in at Anime Evolution in Vancouver, Canada, I'm probably not going back. Right. And I haven't since 2007. So like for me, it's like I want to get you closer to my convention so we can meet each other more. How can I tell my local convention to invite you? Which is a legitimate way to talk to voice actors and ask them for contact info. It's like, hey, I'd really like to suggest to my local con that they bring you in. What contact info can I give them? <laughs> right. This is not what she said. No. No, <laughs> mind you, I have developed friendships with some voice actors over the years, so I do have personal information on some of them. But, like, <laughs> I don't, like, actively go, oh, hi, random voice actor I've ever met. Can I have your phone number? <laughs> Who does this? What? Like, that's all I could think was, like, what sort of human does this? So bad. Like that was what was so like when you told me that I was like, oh my god, why did you ever want me on your actual staff? <laughs> I honestly don't have an answer. Like for some reason I thought, yeah, that seems fine. But you were desperate. <laughs> I just needed warm bodies. Like, let's be real. You wanted to replace her. My my guest relation staff was five per five people and one of them was the con chair, okay? Hey, I mean, he also joined my staff in my year, and the only reason that he was sitting in on meetings was because he lived with her. <laughs> so yeah, so mind you, we met, do you remember when we met? Like in face to face? We met at Detour. 2011, 2000, yeah. 2000, yeah. And we had the best conversation. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, you knew that I had known her for this long, long time, and you wanted, like, answers I about her it. personality. I She's, I was like, this girl has a friend. Who apparently is a creepy stalker, <laughs> but she still, I, she has a friend. And, oh, the other half of it, the, yeah. I felt bad like, for it, that was our friendship. <laughs> like, she was like, oh, and you like, you live in the same city. I was like, yes, I clearly know everyone that lives here. This is, we're well, not this, we're in Minneapolis right now, but like, the city I live in is like the fifth largest yeah, city, city in the state. state. But I was like, oh yeah, I know everyone there. I mean, Chris, we both lived on the east side. <laughs> right, like, we actually didn't live that far from each No, time. we didn't. But, 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 I was like, oh yeah, obviously I know her. <laughs> well, okay, so here's, so speaking of, obviously you know her. Yeah. Time for my version no, of the story. Yeah. Which was, so, she told me that Sari wanted me on her staff. <laughs> specifically wanted me on her staff. And I'm like, why would this person I have never heard of, which I did some digging and I actually found out we did very slightly meet before we knew each other. We did? We did. It was one of the times where Kyle and I were running around the convention doing our live streams. Oh. And we were in the video staff room and talking to Nathan because he's also friends with Nathan. Yeah. And you walk in and he's trying to get you on camera, you're like, nope, no, nope, I nope. know, because Kyle was being obnoxious, and I was like, not today, son. <laughs> no. So we did very briefly meet once. So she's not wrong. She did know me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I only realized this later oh when God. I was like bored one day and we watched we watched a live stream. Well, she goes, no, so she really wants me to say, why would this person who I don't even know, who doesn't even know me, want me on her staff? She's like, no, 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 she does know who you are. I'm like, why does she know? How? How? And she goes, because you're a big deal at Anime Detour. And I'm like, I'm not a big deal at Anime Detour. What are you talking about? She's like, no, 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 like you're a big deal at Anime Detour. Everyone knows you, didn't you know? And you know, and I'm like, what makes me a big deal? She's like, because you're friends with Kyle. And I'm like, everyone's friends with Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> like, being friends with Kyle is not, like, I mean, Kyle, if you're I love you, and yes, I'm glad we're friends, but, like, that's not an achievement. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's friends with everyone. I, at this point, was also friends with Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Which might be why she thought we knew each other. Right? Like, you were friends with Kyle in a very different way than I was friends with Kyle. Yes. He, was, he went to your convention he was as a, a guest. guest. He was a guest at the convention. I was like, <laughs> and I just went around at 4.30 in the morning doing live streams. And asked him for his phone number. <laughs> he offered it. 
<laughs> he was like, here's my phone number. I actually don't remember how I got his phone number, to be honest. <laughs> I'm glad you had it. It came in handy. <laughs> oh, yeah, for Fusion. <laughs> Where she's like, text Kyle, we need him. <laughs> oh, my God, that was... Uh, what a day. But, uh. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, like, like, had she said, like, oh, no, no, she knows who you are. She watches your YouTube videos. I would have been like... Oh, okay. Like, I get that. That's fine. I met, I've met people who watch my YouTube videos before at Anime Detour. Like, that's cool. Because, obviously, I post about Anime Detour, so people follow me yeah. that go to Anime Detour. And so, like, okay, that would make sense. Right. But if she's like, no, because you're a big deal at Anime Detour. I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm still, I've been on staff for seven years, and I'm still not a big deal at Anime Detour. That was, like, true. Like, I, I still run into some, like, high-powered staff, and they're like, hi, are you new to staff? And I'm like, no, I've been here for, like, seven years. I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm a bigger detail deal at Anime Detour than you are. You were on the actual board for ATC, <laughs> duh. I like, I'm a bigger deal than you. <laughs> Not denying that. Oh my god, that was so funny. But yeah, so like, I don't even understand. Like, the, the stories are so vastly different. So different. <laughs> and yeah, and we, so we didn't, we actually met at the con, because Geek comes having a room party. And she was like, oh, Britt's gonna be there, so you can t you can talk to her. And I was like, I just need to meet this person. Like, like I just need I, to know what human this is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, and like, <laughs> unfortunately, like, we'd already had a lot of geek con stuff going on. Like, yeah. all the way down to, like, the geek con drama had already happened. Oh, yeah. And I had already made the decision to leave geek con staff yes. at that point. Yes. I just wasn't telling anybody. I also hadn't told Brad yet that he was uninvited. He was point. uninvited. <laughs> it was, I was supposed to tell him in January, end of January. We're talking early April. I know, I know. But I was like, how am I going to tell my friend that I'm like asking in a favor to come for less money than he yeah. normally goes to conventions for yeah. to be like, oh, by the way, never mind. It was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, I mean, like, I understood the, I, looking back, I definitely understand the reason. Yeah. But, like, the way it happened is what pissed me off. No, it is. It's exactly, like, the way that it went down was, like... Yeah, it was the way that it happened, because it was, like, she wasn't even supposed to contact him. Yeah. And, and... You know, the only the only name I say is Brad. So like right. the other voice actor is not important. Right. No, it doesn't matter who it was. No, it doesn't matter who it was. So she wasn't even supposed to contact him. Yeah. And then she did. And then she tried to pretend that this email had just been like lost for half a year. Yeah. It was the weirdest. Like she was just I don't even And the time I but I was like the date it literally has the date on it though. Like it literally has the date you sent it. Well, you know, she's not the brightest print in the I know, but she was like, no, but it was it was lost. And I was like, okay, but you sent it, like, you sent this two weeks ago. Like, <laughs> it's not lost in transit here. <laughs> it's not the USPS like, thing. Yeah, and so, I'm like, what? What? And, and then I was like, no, this isn't happening. No. Except that because the con chair lived with her, basically it was happening. Because right. he was like, no, we're doing this. And I was like, I mean, you are like one of three people who can override my decision. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, I understood the mentality because right. programming wise, it made sense. Yeah. Because yeah. Brad did nothing with the other people that were there that year. Yeah, no, it, it made so, total like, sense. It makes sense programming wise yeah but i still like the idea of him watching some episodes of what was it called Hitalia. oh yeah and yeah. and like discussing how he feels about how canada was represented yes i never got into Hitalia, so i don't I... understand it but like i know you were like i was not oh into you were not into it either no i tried watching it and found it horrendously offensive and stopped <laughs> well for me it was like the episodes were so quick and long, yeah. like so That's quick, the other it thing just is, didn't make sense. I to don't me. like the short format. Like I, mm -hmm. it's like I'm just getting into something and it stops. The same reason, like I don't read short stories because they bother me. Because I'm like, I'm invested and now it's over. Well, and that's why I love the fact that YouTube now does long content. Yeah. Like they yeah. focus on long content. So now all of my favorite YouTubers actually like make long videos now, and I'm like, thank God, I'm so sick. I got so sick of like the 
three minutes and it's over video. Yeah, like I just I that's why I didn't I like couldn't get into YouTube for the longest time because I was like, no, like I just got invested in this and now it's done. Right. And now I have to switch my attention to something else and I don't I don't executive function well. So I'm like, <laughs> what no! <laughs> I was doing that! Oh my god, yeah. It's up, why is it over? And also Natalia was <laughs> I found it horrendously offensive. Yeah, because it was all focused on just the stereotypes of each of the countries, yeah. and that is a little it was odd. It rubbed me wrong. So, I mean, I people like it, and I get that it just wasn't for me. Yeah, and that's just it. Like, I thought like some of the jokes in it were really funny. Yeah. But yeah, I just never could like. I tried the subtitled version. I tried. I tried the yeah. dub, and I just either way, I was like, eh. yeah, it not my thing. It wasn't for me. It's fine. Like, yeah, but it was huge at the time. It was. It was so big it at the time. It was so massive at the time. Yeah, yeah. And so, in, in, yeah, we were doing, there was so many panels around it at the convention. Oh, like, yeah. Fan panels and some, I mean, because so many people were in it that were, so many voice actors were in it. So right. So we had so many voice actors come and do panels on it. And so it was just a big thing that right. was happening at the time. Um, but yeah, that would have been. But I still like that concept. It would have been an amazing panel. It would have been a great, fun little concept for him to watch, like, how Canada's represented, yeah. and then have him be like, um, actually. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. No, it's yeah, funny. so, I, but, yeah, it was like, like, there were, there were, like, three people who could overrule my decision, and the commentary was one of them, and I was like, well. And then... The real, the real kicker is that the person had to cancel. I know. Oh my god. I told Brad that he was like, like, he goes, sweet justice. And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, so he's not gonna get anywhere. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Um. But yeah, and so like when that all went down, my mom was like, yeah, well you have to be done with sorry now. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm lying because I kind of like her. She's kind of fun. <laughs> and it was so funny because then my mom obviously fell in love right. with you. Right, like us. Eventually. Now your mom also loves you. I know. Yeah, <laughs> my mom like, kind of loves you more than she loves me. It's fine. Um, I'm okay. And so she was like, oh, you just need to say goodbye to all those people. None of those people are your real friends. And I was like, oh my God, calm down. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pissed about it, but like... It's not the end of the world. I mean, even Brad was like, I hope that it didn't ruin any of your friendships. I'm like, it only ruined one, but that's okay, because well, that was already pretty ruined anyway. Yeah, it wasn't an important one. Like, <laughs> I was okay with ruining that friendship. He's like, okay, as long as you're okay with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, because like, I didn't want that to ruin any of your friendships with anybody. And I'm like, I, it's, it's fine. Like, it's not like I was friends with really any of them anyway. And he's like, oh, okay. But you were like, staff there. I was like, it's a long story. I've never joined a staff of because GeekCon it was, the first time GeekCon yeah. was that. Right, that, that, yes. And then I, we like quit GeekCon, and then I get a text from this one that says, hey, do you want a guest relations opportunity without, and then her yes. name was said. Um, and I was like, absolutely sign me up. She goes, okay, cool, text Kyle, we need him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good time. I was in a meeting, um, I agree to help another con, that was a first year convention, um, do guest relations, but I, it was a month after GeekCon, and I was like, okay, but here's the thing, I can't do any of the pre-planning, so I'll run stuff at Con, and I want to be kept in the loop of who we are inviting, but I'm not going to be able to do the legwork on it because I have this other convention cycle that I need to focus on. And so I show up at the first meeting after Decon, and I was like, okay, so I haven't heard from any of you who are our guests, and they said, we thought you were handling it. It was a month until the convention. And I was like, at what point did somebody else who's doing it mean I was handling it? <laughs> um, so I was like, hey, do you want to be on this guest relations staff? <laughs> Text Kyle, we need him. And <laughs> I swear, these people, these people think I am magical. Because we were in a staff meeting and they were like, we have no guests. And I was like, we have no guests. And by the end of the meeting, I was like, so Kyle's coming. Because 
I just happened to be on break at PetSmart at the time. And Kyle luckily was free to answer my text immediately. And so I was like, hey, so I guess I'm on a guest relations staff. He's like, cool, congratulations. I was like, yeah, do you want to be a guest? He's like, sure, when is it? And I was like, next month. And he goes, what? <laughs> yeah. He's like, you're not going to get any good flights out of LA. And I'm like, I don't think anyone cares. How much do you charge? And so he told me how much he was going to charge the convention. And I texted sorry back, and you're like, oh, that was quick. Like, yeah, that sounds good. Just tell him I'll send him Just a contact later. Him. And I was like, okay, cool. So I texted him. I'm like, yes, you're coming. He's like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was seriously, it was like within an hour. I was like, okay, well, Kyle's coming. It worked out perfect because that was the one year of anime detail yeah. he was going to miss. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was like, oh, perfect. So that's our great marketing technique. Hey, Kyle's like the anime detour, so come to the anime fusion set. Mm -hmm. It was so great. Like I was like, that was that was the moment when everybody just looked at me like, how doth she do it? <laughs> I was like, dumb luck, actually. Well, like, my because the person that was supposed to run mm -hmm. the guest relations mm -hmm. department, he also used to run used to anime run detour. Yeah. Uh, no longer does. And uh, my favorite is the Scott McNeil story. Oh my god. <laughs> he, so he and I were talking about this because he was supposed to be inviting these guests. And I was like, he was like, well, I want to do like an old school, new, new school theme, blah, blah. So I want to get like current people, but then also like some of the more established people who did a lot of more stuff a long time ago. And I was like, who are you thinking of getting? And he's telling me these people. I mean, like, one of the people is Scott McNeil. And I was like, you're not going to get Scott McNeil. He doesn't even do cons, and he's definitely not going to go to a first-year con that can't pay him, who he's, that he's never heard of. And he just looks at me and goes, I could get Scott McNeil, and I was like, <laughs> no, you can't! And then, like, so I told Brit, and she's like, I can get Scott McNeil! Well, my actual way, because I can't actually do it to the camera, for obvious reasons, right. but, like, I took out my, my phone, and I went to his number, and I was like, I can get Scott McNeil! <laughs> yeah. So, hi. So, I can get Scott McNeil. Yeah, because she goes to the conventions and has to be part of the phone numbers. <laughs> Obviously! <laughs> Obviously, that's what I do! <laughs> no, that one again was like, it was, that was a really funny way of how I got a phone because that one I remember. So, I was, I was at Yomacon, I was hanging out with Scott and Brad. Um, after the convention was over, we were getting drinks and Scott was eating Gator. But I was like, yeah, I was just in Vancouver, like, in September. He's like, what? And I went, what? He's like, you were in Vancouver and you didn't tell me? And I was like, I have no way of getting a hold of you. He's like, give me your freaking phone. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I give him my phone and he's like, Rrr. and I'm like, there, next time you're in Vancouver, talk to me. And I was like, okay. okay. I don't want to meet, I don't want a mad Australian, I don't want an Australian mad at me, it's fine. They have crocodiles. <laughs> have you seen the crocodile hunter? They're terrifying. Australians are scary. They're terrifying. <laughs> like, yeah, they, that was the best because I was because I knew that Brit, I was like, I know Brit knows Scott McNeil. So I was like, so guess who told me that I can get Scott McNeil? <laughs> she was like, I can get Scott McNeil. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's that's my favorite just because of the whole like how that worked out. You're like, yeah, he was like determined he gets got me going, like, actually I I can. I was just I was like actually really sad that I was like there's no way we're gonna be able to pay Scott because I really wanted to get Scott McNeil. Just to be like, uh look what I got. What's up now? <laughs> Actually, we probably could have gotten in for we, less yeah. money. Yeah, probably. We probably could have. I could have texted him and be like, hey, yeah. like, what can we do here? Yeah. Yeah. He probably would have because it's me. But. I know, but I don't want to like. But like, I don't like calling in favors. Right, that's exactly it. I was like, I didn't, it wasn't worth calling in a favor just to be spied, just to be petty. And just hateful. to be petty against somebody <laughs> that we don't. I mean, okay, here's the thing. We like this guy. Yeah. We're friends with this oh, guy. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, he's a good guy. We're, we're good with him, but like. He's terrible at his job. And he very much disagrees with the way that I do the job. Which is why I think he wanted me so badly uh -huh. on Detour staff, be, or uh -huh. on Detour guest relations, because he's like, I just, I can just imagine him telling people, I just want to retrain her. Because yeah. obviously I know everything, I know through guest relations through her. Yeah. I just, I just, he did not agree with the way I did the job, and was like, also had no confidence that I could actually do it, I think, which is 
scared because I did it multiple times without him. Right. So. <laughs> well, my favorite thing at, at Fusion oh, was yes. when you had to go home. Oh, my God. So here's the thing. Fusion, I don't know if they still have this rule, but Fusion was like all heads need to stay on site. Well, they didn't tell me this. Right. So she didn't have anything. She had planned on coming home between, like, at night, you know, when she was ready to go to sleep. And she's like, and they're like, no, 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 you, we have the hotel room for you, like, you have to be on site. And I was like, and you're like, okay, fine. And so you hand me your headset, and you're like, I guess I have to go home real quick. And I was like, okay, cool. And you're like, so, I mean, nothing's going to happen on the headset, but, like, just in case something does happen on the headset. And it was literally just people chatting back and forth. Yeah, like, there was, was nothing. The guests were all, like, either eating dinner in the bar on their own, like, they were fine, or they right. were in panels. Because like, we had two. Yeah, well, we had more. We, we had, had, two, we had a we had, like, yeah. two voice actors, yeah. and then we had a and few, had, like, the more local Yeah, and people. I had some of the Geek Town people um, there. Yeah. Which, it was, like, friends of mine, right? But I right. was like, they're all fine. Right. Like, they're not going to need you, but right. somebody has to be here to be in charge, so. Right. And so this guy sees me with the head as, all, as he's walking by, and he stops, he's like, do you want me to take that from you? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. He's like, but I can take it from you. Like, if it's too much. And I'm like, people are literally talking about whether or not they want to bring donuts in the morning. It's not stressful. <laughs> like, I'm fine. And I would love a Bavarian cream. Thank you. <laughs> like also, that's, that's the only thing I'm concerned with at the point is at this point, do I get a very cream torn morning? Right, like I'm just gonna weigh in on this donut conversation. <laughs> so there you go, insider tips. If you want to know what happens on the fancy headsets of the convention, um, usually offensive jokes. Offensive and do jokes. You want donuts? Do you want donuts? And how do I make coffee? <laughs> <laughs> no, the fact that Eric Stewart needs a coffee. No, the coffee. Do you not know what the coffee thing? No, oh, man. that was a good fun one. Um, it was. I think it was Sunday morning because we were all stupid tired. Um, and somebody was up, one of the staff was up in the um, the staff hospitality suite and was trying to make coffee in like the hotel coffee maker and just had no, like, it was somebody, he's like, I don't drink coffee. I don't know how to make coffee anywhere. I definitely don't know how to make it in this weird hotel coffee pot. And so he was on, the headset, like, does anybody know how to make coffee? And like, the whole staff was trying to like walk him through the process <laughs> of making coffee all over the headset. Oh my god! Privately, you need to tell me who this is. Yeah, I will. Anyway, convention chair, heroic convention chair at the time goes. Everyone stopped. We were like, oh, he's pissed. And he goes, G get in your car and drive two blocks to the McDonald's and ask them for some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> great story to end on because my batteries yes. will die. So, so that's what happens on the fancy headsets during the con. <laughs> Nothing exciting. So thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm always happy to join. I'm an aspiring YouTuber now. I was saying, yeah, she's going to eventually start a YouTube channel, so I'm going to be, like, spamming the hell out of it once she starts it, because, you know. So the battery died. Woo! So now we're on my phone finishing that. But yeah, so I'm going to spam the hell out of her YouTube channel when she gets it started, because I love this girl, uh, and uh, she's, like, one of my favorite human beings on the face planet, even oh if I hate Sarah. God, same. <laughs> Am I talking about you or me? Yes. <laughs> I adore this woman <laughs> so much. <laughs> like I said, like, <laughs> see, now I'm not sure if you're talking about me or not. No, but, yeah, is. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ignore that, <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Anyway, um, but yeah, so like, I adore this girl, um, even if my hashtag says otherwise. Yeah, and I. It's all of love. I adore this this girl, even though my hashtag claims that she is a heinous bitch, which is also the truth, but that is part of why I love her. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, but yeah, so thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Bye.